Long Island, New York has seen safer days. With 17 reported murders of gang-related violence since January 2016, one afflicted community of mostly Hispanic residents has altered the way it goes about regular activities. Among them, high school students like Natalia Osorio, who heeds her parents' advice whenever she sees members of the royal blue-clad gang known as La Mara Salvatrucha, MS-13. I walk to school, so they just always tell me to like be careful and like not talk to anybody. Or maybe like if somebody comes in a car, they will ask, oh, you want to ride? And you'd be like, no, like I don't want to ride. I'm fine. Across the country, local authorities have seen an ebb and flow in gang-related violence over the past decade, based on geopolitical factors in countries like El Salvador, where MS-13 contributes to its reputation as the world's murder capital. Paul LaCorey, director of Maryland's Montgomery County Special Investigations Division, said areas with heavy concentrations of Central Americans are often easy targets for extortion. The gang knows what has worked in those countries. It knows its reputation um, is going to really have an impact here in those enclaves where you have Central American or El Salvadoran communities. So they're going to concentrate their efforts because they know that the immigrants here are going to be familiar with their tactics that they may be more susceptible um, to their tactics as well. Residents across Suffolk County, New York, are largely divided on President Trump's intentions and motivations in targeting local gang violence. Supporters say federal intervention is overdue. The uh, MS-13 gang has been wreaking havoc in Suffolk County, and uh, it's about time somebody on a national level came in and did something about it, since the local government can't do anything. But others worry that targeting gang members could be a facade for a more extensive crackdown on the undocumented community. I imagine he does intend to deport the bad guys. And that's good that he targets them. But this will also affect people who have nothing to do with that. Because just as there is evil, there is goodness too. When you just label one gang as the main cause of this, you do more harm than good. Sergio Argueta, who leads a youth empowerment program on Long Island, was involved in gangs in his youth. He says the death of two close friends and a community college education changed his life in spite of opportunities and resources denied to him. He says Trump should consider alternative methods to ending violence. If he really wants to eradicate or end gang violence as he says he wants to do, what he needs to do is provide good educational opportunities, good health care, good housing, making sure young people people aren't criminalized, but they feel safe and secure in their communities, which is everything that he is not currently doing. Argueta says ending the cycle of violence begins with both sides of the aisle, putting partisan politics aside. Ramon Taylor, VOA News, Suffolk County, New York.